सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम डूइंग एक्सरसाइज वन ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ बाय द सेल्फ एंड वी आर ऑन स्टेप सिक्स सो इफ यू रिकॉल क्विकली वील जस्ट गो थ्रू द स्टेप्स लाइक वी डू एवरी डे स्टेप वन मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप विच we will keep coming back to we will keep having to refer because there itself is the major challenge step 1 was to become aware of the imagination and to become aware of the feeling in the imagination and of course one major shift is to see the feeling to be able to observe the feeling and the bigger challenge is to observe it moment to moment every moment so therefore we have to keep coming back to it till we can observe the feeling at every moment so that is step 1 observing the feeling in the imagination step 2 we ask the question is the feeling that i am having at any moment at that moment is that feeling naturally acceptable to me or not naturally acceptable to me do i want its continuity or do i not want its continuity it in step 3 we ask the question whether that feeling that i am having at any moment with that whether i am comfortable or i am uncomfortable and in step 4 we ask the question who was deciding the feeling at any moment now you will notice that these four points they happen in very quick succession in fact you will feel that it is all one or it is all one or two points because when you observe the feeling almost instantaneously you will also be able to see whether it is naturally acceptable to you or not whether you are comfortable with it or not and of course step 4 deciding the feeling that you are having at any moment once you can see this that you are the one who is deciding the feeling then you don't have to keep asking this question every time so this step 1 to 4 can happen in quite a rapid succession in step 5 we were asking the question what is the basis on which i am deciding my feeling is my feeling based on right understanding or is my feeling based on some assumption in the absence of right understanding because if it is based on right understanding that feeling it will be definite it will be continuous and i can be happy every moment with that feeling however if the feeling that i have at any moment is based on an assumption without understanding in the lack of understanding then it will keep changing it will depend on my own assumption so if my assumption is something that is in line with the right understanding then i will be happy if that assumption is something which is different 
in contradiction to right understanding, then I will have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable to me and I will be unhappy at that moment. So we won't be able to know which assumption may be leading to happiness and which assumptions may be leading to unhappiness when we don't have the right understanding. But once we have the understanding, then there is this possibility of definiteness, having a feeling that is in line with natural acceptance at all times in continuity and therefore being in happiness in continuity. So from this we gathered that there is a need. I do have a need for right understanding. Because if I want to have happiness in continuity, then this is the way to go. This is how I can have the feeling in continuity. So this is what we did in the first five steps. Then we went on to step six. In step six, we were saying that since we have now seen that there is a need for right understanding, there is a need to have feelings that are naturally acceptable, and there is a need for me to be in the state of happiness at all times. Then in step six, we said that it is important for me to understand those feelings that are natural to me. Because how do I go about it? I can work towards right understanding or ensuring the natural feeling within me only when I am aware of what that natural feeling is. What those feelings are that I want in continuity. So we were asking the question, which feelings are naturally acceptable to us? The feeling of relationship or the feeling of opposition? And we have been through this many times. And at least as information, we know the answer to this, but that's not good enough. Just because we have it as information, it doesn't translate to happiness for us. It has to be in our living. And what we find is that many a time in our living, we are working with the feelings of opposition. We are interacting with others with the feeling of opposition. We will notice this, particularly when the other has some behavior which is different to what I expect, some opinion which may be different from mine some belief that may be different from mine, and so on. Many, many things. Wherever I see the difference, I may start having feeling of opposition. Unless I ask this question at the time, which feeling is naturally acceptable to me? Regardless of the other person, we can ask this question independent of the other person, which feeling is naturally acceptable. And we'll be able to see that this feeling of relationship is what is naturally acceptable. Similarly, if we ask this question, which feeling is naturally acceptable, the feeling of harmony or the feeling of disharmony? Again, we have this information that yes, it is the feeling of harmony that is naturally acceptable. But is it there in our living? 
or are we often having this feeling of disharmony within? Many a times, this disharmony, we can see it as the cause of our unhappiness within us. And yet, we are not aware at many moments and we keep having this feeling of disharmony within. When situations outside are not favorable, say the weather is not favorable to me, I complain. I have a feeling of disharmony within. Similarly, the feeling of coexistence, is that naturally acceptable or a feeling of struggle? And we have this again as information. And when we ask this question of our natural acceptance, we can see that it is the feeling of coexistence that is naturally acceptable, not a feeling of struggle. However, in living, many a time, we are not even aware of the feeling that we are having. And we continue to keep having this feeling of struggle from time to time. Wherever we think that it is difficult for us. And you will notice what is really difficult is to go beyond the beliefs that we have, beyond the assumptions that we have. Many a time, we have many assumptions that are driving the feeling and we fail to ask or refer to the natural acceptance. But the moment we do, we can see this, that the feeling of coexistence is what is naturally acceptable to you, not the feeling of struggle. For instance, If I am assume everybody to be separate, not connected, then it seems like I have to deal with so many people. I have to deal with so many things in the environment which are not conducive to whatever I think is conducive. And I have this feeling that because everybody else, every unit is different, is separate from me. Because I can't see my relationship with every unit. Because I can't see the connection between all the units. Whenever I have to interact, or even whenever I think about it, whenever I have such a feeling that every unit is different, I find myself in a position where I have a feeling of struggle like I have to compete with all this, like I have to work with all this. I may have this discomfort within of the unknown. I may have a discomfort within because I feel I don't know what's going to happen. because I like to be in charge. I like to have control over situations, over people. Somewhere it gives me a false sense of being in charge. And there may be some upheavals, some natural calamities. There may be so many things in nature or in the existence to which 
I may not be, or which I may not be prepared for. So at that point, I might feel like it is all a struggle. But if I ask myself which feeling is naturally acceptable to me, I will be able to see that it is the feelings of relationship, the feelings of harmony, the feeling of coexistence. These are the feelings that are natural to me. These are the feelings that I want in continuity. Then we went on to steps 6b. If we can go to the next slide. Yeah, thank you. So therefore I could see that I need to ensure the right understanding. I must ensure the understanding of relationship, the understanding of harmony, the understanding of coexistence. Because only when I understand these, can I have that feeling in continuity. So how do I work for it? So like we are doing, we keep working with the glimpse of that reality within all of us, the natural acceptance. And we keep observing the imagination, the feeling in the imagination and seeing whether it is in line with the natural acceptance or not. And slowly we start working on the higher activities within. As we keep doing this, our contradictions within, our disturbances within start settling down and we start having some access to, or we start becoming aware of these higher activities within us. So essentially what I really need to do to understand is I need to contemplate on my relationship with others. I need to contemplate on my participation in my behavior with others, in, my, in all my interactions. When it comes to the harmony, I need to understand this harmony, this self-organization, this innateness that is there in every unit. And I may have some idea superficially, but as I become aware of this activity of understanding within, I'm able to see, or I will be able to see this self-organization in every cell and in every unit, every cell of every unit. And ultimately, of course, I need to realize the coexistence. I need to be able to see the coexistence for myself. I need to be able to see that this existence is, it was, and it will be, that it is ever present. There is a whole lot of variety on the surface. Things look very different. But as I look deeper, Things are not quite what they seem to be. Things are not what I thought they are when I looked through the eyes of the body. Things are much more cohesive. Things are much more organized. This whole existence It is ever present, unchanging. What appear to be changes are on the surface. 
but at the base, at the essence, it is unchanging and the, the one thing that is unifying all of these units is the space. And to be able to see this coexistence of all the units in space, ultimately I have to get to that. I have to realize that to be able to have the definiteness in my feeling, to be able to have that happiness in continuity. So certainly I may be able to see this, that this is a need of mine, that I must ensure the right understanding within myself. Yes, next slide, please. So this is what we were discussing yesterday also. And um, we talked about this, that when the lower activities are the ones that are all that we go by, and we are not aware of the higher activities, then our feelings are largely being decided on the basis of our assumptions, our preconditionings certain acceptances that we have um, on the basis of past experience, belief, some thing we have read, something we have heard, something some, somebody has told us, whatever, something from outside that forms our preconditioning. And also our feeling is decided largely by sensation also. A very small percentage of our feeling is on the basis of natural acceptance. But as we keep doing this exploration within and as we keep working on ourselves, we are bringing our feelings more and more in line with what is naturally acceptable to us. And as we do that, as all this contradiction settles, the higher activities slowly become known to us or we become aware of them. They are already there, but they seem to be hidden because of the turmoil within the disturbance within. But when things settle down, at those moments when we experience that peace, at those moments we are able to access some of the knowledge from these higher activities. But ultimately, our seat of being or from where I look has to be the highest activity within the self. From where I can look down at all the lower activities, from where I can make sure that all my lower activities come in line with the realization of the coexistence, with the understanding of the harmony with the contemplation of relationship. So ultimately that is the task at hand. And it is a huge task, certainly. But as we go along, we find that the journey is equally one of, or can be one of happiness at every moment during the journey. It is not about getting to realization and then being happy. It is about being happy and working towards 
or working for realization. So yesterday um, we were discussing this and if you were able to see Kumar Bhaiya had put a detailed description and we were asking if we can look at our feelings and see in all our interactions and in between whenever we can remind ourselves to see our feeling and check if it is naturally acceptable to us or otherwise. To check if we are working with a feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence or otherwise. We had said we would do this all day yesterday and we will take discussion about this today. So if anybody would like to share their experiences, we can take those now. So here you can see the same thing that we were talking about. You can see that the feeling of relationship is what is naturally acceptable to us. If I have a feeling of opposition for someone, even for a moment, it is not naturally acceptable to me. And I am in a state of unhappiness within at that moment. And if I'm not able to see the feeling, I can look at the thoughts and I'll get an idea about the feeling. Similarly, we can see that what is naturally acceptable to me is the feeling of coexistence. So if I have a feeling of struggle, even for a moment, it is not naturally acceptable to me. And I am in a state of unhappiness within. So we can see that, you know, if we ask our natural acceptance, certainly a feeling of coexistence is what is naturally acceptable. But in our living, it may not be that way. Like Chandakala Ji was sharing. So a lot of times we feel, we have this feeling of struggle. And this is because we are not able to have the clarity about the reality, about the existence, about the coexistence. And therefore, when we see everything as separate, we have many, many assumptions about the reality. And based on that, we go about with our feelings and our thoughts and our behavior. And therefore, that feeling of struggle but we can see that we are becoming unhappy with that. That is not naturally acceptable. So we can see what is naturally acceptable and start bringing our feeling in line with that. Similarly for the feeling of harmony. What is naturally acceptable to us is feeling of harmony. But when we are living, we may not always have this feeling of harmony. So then we are, you know, it is something that is not naturally acceptable and we become unhappy. So ultimately we need to understand things the way they are. We need to be able to see the reality the way it is. And of course this, what is mentioned here, you know, what we teach to our children may be something quite on, to the contrary. We teach them, you know, it is a struggle for survival and survival of the fittest. Here also you can see that our assumptions are playing their role. We have assumed something and that is what we keep teaching. But we may not be able to see the reality right now, but we need to work on it. At least we can see the need for it. We will try to observe for a few minutes, check whether you are having a feeling of relationship for every other person. Right now we'll do this for about five minutes. Ask yourself, if you have a feeling of relationship for others, what sort of thoughts will you be having about others? What would your behavior be like with others? And contemplate on this feeling of relationship for all within yourself. We'll do this for five minutes and I'll mute myself here. Yes, so we've done a little bit of observation for a few minutes and uh, this is what we need to do all day today. Contemplate on the feeling of relationship 
and contemplate on the feeling of harmony. Ask yourself, if you have feeling of harmony within, will you have an acceptance for things outside or will you be disturbed when things outside don't happen your way? For example, when the weather is not to your liking and reflect on the feeling of harmony within yourself. So we'll do this all day today and we'll take observations tomorrow. Uh, for